Okay, let's begin. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for these next 30 minutes or so. So I can see that there's at least 140 people present at the moment, and that's a little more than I'm used to in my yoga classes, which means that there are some people that don't normally come to moon yoga. So I'll spend just a minute explaining what moon yoga is and its benefits, and then we'll get straight into the practice and I'll hopefully guide you to experience and feel these benefits for yourself. The idea of moon yoga is that we can use the body to shape the mind. And specifically, we use a combination of forward folds and twists, and we work to extend the exhale, so really slow the exhale down. And a combination of these things helps the nervous system to relax. It's not particularly energetic, but that's really not the point. The more we move with our bodies, the, the less still uh, our mind will be and the more thoughts we'll have. So the idea with this simple sequence I want to teach you or show you is that by slowing the breath down, slowing the mind down is going to enable us to really come into a, a, a feeling of stillness at the end of these 30 minutes. There's a lot we can do in just a short space of time. Another thing to, uh, to know is that it, yoga, and especially moon yoga, has really nothing to do with flexibility and everything to do with stability. So no matter how flexible you think you are or not, you're very welcome here. You just go to the furthest extension of the pose that you can that feels good for your body. And that's the point. So whether you are a regular of mine and you come to my classes a lot, whether you're brand new to this, you're so welcome. Thank you for showing up and let's begin. To start, if you're sitting on a meditation prop, please just put it off to one side and let's come into child's pose. What this means is that we're gonna sit on our heels, we're gonna open our knees so they're nice and wide. The tips of our big toes are gonna be touching and then we're just gonna lean forward and relax our head down onto the floor. Don't relax here too much. Make sure that at the same time that you're pushing your hands into the floor, your hips are reaching back into your heels and you can feel your spine start to lengthen. Forehead resting gently on the floor. And then just start to deepen your breath. Take deep, nice, long breaths in and fill the belly. Exhale. Deeply in, filling the belly. And as you exhale, just continue to reach the hips to the heels. Open up the spine. Notice as you start to deepen your breath. Your mind is preoccupied with this breathing and less with thoughts from the day. As you breathe in, just really start to feel the body, feel the arms, the legs, and as you exhale, really let go, let go of all tension. Now slowly inhale, come up onto, back onto all fours. And set yourselves up so that your shoulders are stacked directly over your wrists, fingers spread nice and wide. And then bring your knees in so that they're stacked directly underneath the hips. Take a deep inhale here. And then exhale, move your hips back once more to your heels and child's pose. Inhale, deeply come back up into tabletop. And then exhale, tuck the toes and push the hips back and away and come into downward facing dog. Inhale, back down onto the knees for a count of four. Two, three, four. Exhale, child's pose for four. Two, three, 
four. Inhale back up for four, two, three, four. Tuck the toes, downward dog for four, two, three, four. Inhale, down for four. And then child's pose for five counts. Slow it down, two, three, four, Five. Inhale back up for four counts. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog for five, two, three, four, five. Inhale down for four. Take over the count yourself. Back into child's pose for six counts. Really slow it down. Inhale back up onto all fours and then downward facing dog for six counts. And then come into downward dog and stay there and hold as still as you possibly can. Really push the hands down into the ground, reach the hips back and up into the air. Internally rotate your upper arms. Breathe smoothly and deeply. Resist the urge to move the legs. Still the body to still the mind. Breathe softly into the belly. Notice your mind wondering what's coming next. Maybe you're not so happy in this position. Maybe it's just focused on the breath. Try and use this as an anchor as much as possible throughout the practice. Okay, gaze forward and please step both, thing, both feet between the hands. Come into a forward fold. Hands resting on the floor. And then place your hands slowly on your hips. And then inhale with a flat back, come all the way up into standing. Exhale, just release the arms. Tadasana, mountain pose. Just continue to move again. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Two straight lines. And then exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward slowly, keeping the biceps by the ears as best as you can the whole time until your hands reach the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, reach the chest forward. Hands pointing to the floor or biceps by your ears. And then exhale, fold all the way forward again. Now to a breath count, inhale, flat back, come up for four counts. Two, three, four, exhale, fold forward for six. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, halfway lift for four. Two, three, four, exhale, fold forward for six. Two, three, four, five, six, inhale, flat back, come up for four. And exhale, fold forward again for six counts. And you slow down the movement to match the breath. Let the breath guide each movement. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward for six counts. And just come into the forward fold and stay there. Here you can take the opposite elbow with each hand if you like and come into ragdoll. Back of the neck is long. Gentle bend in the knees if you need it. I really do. The idea is that your belly is resting softly on your thighs. Pick a point that you can look at between your legs. And once more, just come into stillness. Focus on the soft rise and fall of your breath. Notice any twitches or little movements in the legs. Maybe you're blinking, looking around. Which means the mind is not as quiet as we'd like it to be sometimes. 
no problem. Continue to breathe in, two more rounds, softly in and out. Release your hands to the floor. Once more, just place them on your hips and then slowly, carefully with a flat back, inhale slowly all the way up to standing so you don't get dizzy. Exhale, release the hands and come into complete stillness in mountain pose. No need to fix the hair or do anything. Just pause in silence. Feel your heartbeat, feel a tingling in your hands perhaps. Notice a difference, perhaps, to before we began. Moving on, please step your right foot back generously. Keep the back foot ground down and out at an angle of 45 degrees. Twist the hips so they're facing forward. You may want to block if you're less flexible. You can just place it to the right of your left foot. Take your left hand and place it to the back of your sacrum, palm facing out. Inhale, sweep the right arm up to the sky, reaching up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward once more, keeping the bicep by the ear. Gentle bend in the front leg if you need it until the hand reaches the ground. Inhale, come up with a flat back for four counts. Two, three, four. Guess what? Exhale, fold forward for six. Two more rounds, inhale up for four. Exhaling for six. Keep the structure steady, but your attitude soft. Smoothing out the breath until you find yourself your hand touching the floor and then stay here, release both hands to the floor. Come into a halfway lift and reach the chest forward, flatten that back. Right hand to the block or the floor directly under your right shoulder. And then exhale, twist from the navel first to the left and extend your arm overhead and come into a twist and hold. Straighten the back leg, keep the front leg as stable as you can. Gaze out to the side or up at your hand. Become a statue, completely still, breathing softly. With each exhale, twisting, twisting a millimeter more to the left if you can. To a statue that moves a bit. Nice, gaze to the floor, release that hand down. Remove the block briefly if you were using it. Hands on hips, flat back, inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, step the right foot forward, release the hands. Straight to the other side. Left foot back, 45 degrees. Realign your block to the left of your right foot if you need to. Right hand to the back of the sacrum. Inhale, sweep that left arm strongly up to the sky, reach up. And then exhale, fold slowly forward. Gentle bend in that front leg. If you need it, keep the back as flat as you can. Inhale back up for four counts. Two, three, four. Exhale, fold for six. Two more rounds. Inhale up for four. And feel stable as you go. No rush, no goal. And then release both hands to the floor. Pull that right hip back to make sure it's aligned. Look how that straightens your right knee just a little more. 
Left hand to the block or the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, twist open to the right. Extend that right hand up to the sky. And come into stillness. Notice where the mind is in the silence. Root your awareness in your navel center as you breathe softly in and out. Gaze to the floor, release the hand, remove the block. Hands on hips, inhale, flat back, come up. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Once more, Tadasana. This time, close the eyes. Put a gentle bend in your legs. And just com completely relax. Relax the belly. Relax the pelvic floor if you can feel it. How are you feeling? Where are your thoughts? Do you feel calm? Do you feel something else? Just notice without judgment. Okay, open your eyes, take a wide stance on the mat. Once more, if you would like a bit more, a bit of a help and take that block and put it just in front of you. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the sky, to the sides. And exhale, lower your right hand down to the block or to the floor, twisting open to the left. Inhale, slowly back up for four, two, three, four. Same side, exhale down for six counts. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, last time for four, two, three, Four, exhale down for six. Twisting open to the left and then just come in briefly hold here. Gazing up at the hand or out to the side. Twists are so helpful for balancing our organs as well as our mind. Digesting and processing food and our experience. But for now, just Feel where you are and breathe. Nice. Inhale, slowly back up. Exhale, pause. Just release the arms. Give them a moment's break. Take a deep breath in and out. Straight to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, twist open and place your left hand down to the floor. Right arm gazes up. Inhale up for four, two, three, four. Exhale down for six. One more round. Moving dynamically first so that the twist hold a lot more accessible. And just come into stillness once more. Keep your awareness in all four points of your body, your hands reaching apart, your feet pushing into the ground. Gaze is still. Nice. Gaze to the floor. Inhale, come up to standing. And then simply exhale and fold all the way forward. Bend your legs if you need to. Just relax your hands on the floor. Remove your block if it's in the way. Begin to breathe in for a count of four. Out for a count of six. See if you can introduce a gentle pause at the end of exhale. One or two counts.
Nice. Once more, hands on the hips and then inhale, slowly come up with a flat back to standing. Exhale, release the hands, step the feet together. And once more, just relax. Eyes open, eyes closed. What's happening in the body? Please come down onto your knees. Swivel around and lie down on your back and set yourself up for a dynamic bridge. After all the forward folding we've done, it's really important to counteract it with a gentle back bend. So keep your feet on the floor, heels close enough to the sit bone so you can just touch the back of them, your fingertips, palms face down, lower back rooted into the floor. On your next inhale, sweep the arms overhead like we have done, lift up the hips at the same time. Yeah, exhale, lower the hips, lower the hands at the same time down to the floor. Two more times, the inhale slowly lift up the hips and the arms, back of the hands touch the floor behind you. Yeah, exhale, lower everything down. The inhale up. And exhale the arms down as if they're floating through water. Keep the hands where they are. Inhale, lift the hips only. And then interlace your fingers underneath your back. Roll your shoulders together and just come into bridge pose. Nothing crazy here, nothing intense. Just keep pushing the feet gently into the floor. Notice what that does. Keep lifting the hips. Add some tension to your upper arms. And just breathe softly in and out of the belly. Relax the face. And on your next exhale, release the hands and just lower the back all the way down, lower the hips. Almost finished, extend your left leg out, flex the feet, pull your right knee in towards your chest by interlacing your fingers on your right shin. Keep your left hand where it is, relax your right hand to the floor, palm face down or cactus your arm if you have less room. Place your left hand on the outside of your right knee. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, roll your right knee over to the left. Gaze over to your right shoulder. Keep that right shoulder rooted into the ground. Breathe softly into the belly. Eyes open and eyes closed. Just a soft gaze. Inhale to release, come back to the center. Extend your right leg down to the floor, flex that foot and go to the opposite side, pulling the left knee in towards the chest. Relax the left arm down to the floor in a way that suits you. Right hand to the outside of your left knee, take an inhale. Exhale, roll over to the right. Gaze over your left shoulder and hold. Inhale to release. Give both knees a gentle squeeze, pull them into your chest. Release the feet down, roll over onto one side, and please come up to a seated position. Demonstrate from the side, just a really nice, easy cross-legged forward fold to finish. Always finish with a forward fold. Sit up nice and straight. Take a deep inhale. 
and then exhale, just walk the fingertips forward and fold in as far as you can naturally, probably further than me. Just go to whatever feels right for your body. Close your eyes, back of the neck long. Relax the belly. Really start to let go of anything and everything in your mind. As you softly exhale, feel like you're melting further into the floor. Slowly inhale with a flat back, walk your hands in. And just relax your hands. Exhale, relax your hands on your thighs. Or palms face up. And in the last couple of minutes, we just move into a simple meditation on the breath. As you breathe in, Draw your thoughts down from your mind. What there is left of them down into the pelvic floor and where your sit bones contact the ground. As you exhale, just release those thoughts into the ground and feel supported by the earth as you do. Simple, soft breath. Relax the face, the jaw. And perhaps you find yourself in stillness and the moment you get distracted by my voice or a thought, Breathe it in, down to the pelvic floor, down to your seat. Exhale, release it into the ground, the earth. You feel grounded and steady and still. Okay, before we close off this practice, take a moment to just observe the quality of your breath. How are you breathing right now? Calm, smooth. Maybe something else. And then just notice the quality of your thoughts. Have they slowed down at all? Notice your emotional state. And then finally, your energy levels. How do you feel? Are you balanced? Calm? 
centered. And just take a couple of deeper breaths to close off the practice. And if you like, you can join me by placing your hands together in front of your chest, maybe bowing your chin forward. Thank you for trusting me with these 30 or so minutes. I hope you found value in them. Namaste.